Hello and welcome to another episode of today's She Ke. Let's begin. Recently, the National Conclave on Dragon Fruit was held in New Delhi. Is the correct answer? Recently, the National Conclave on Kamlam was organized at Krishi Bhavan, New Delhi. Dragon fruit is also known as super fruit for its health benefits, and the fruit is considered good for diabetic patients, low in calories and high in nutrients like iron, calcium, potassium, and zinc. The Gujarat government recently renamed dragon fruit as Kamlam and announced an incentive for farmers who cultivate it. Mission 2024 for Forest Rights Act is related to which of the following states? Odisha is the correct answer. The Odisha government is chasing an ambitious target of completing implementation of Forest Rights Act by granting all kinds of rights mandated under the Historic Act by 2024. In this regard, the state has launched the Mission 2024 for FRA. All tribals will be granted their rightful ownership. Odisha has set up a dedicated project management unit only for FRA implementation. Ladakh has recently joined its implementation of the FRA. Which of the following bodies is going to provide a loan of three hundred million dollars to the state of Chhattisgarh in the field of school education? World Bank is the correct answer. The Chhattisgarh government has received an in principle nod for the center to go ahead with a three hundred million dollars school education project. The state is negotiating with the World Bank, and the initiative will allow the Chhattisgarh government to borrow three hundred million dollar over a period of five years at significantly lower than market rates. It can be repaid over the period of twenty years. Which of the following countries is not a member of the Colombo Security Conclave? Seychelles is the correct answer. Recently, the sixth Deputy National Security Advisor level meeting of the Colombo Security Conclave took place in Kochi. The Secretariat of the Conclave is located in Colombo, and the members of the Conclave are India. Maldives, Mauritius, and Sri Lanka. There are two observers: Bangladesh and Seychelles. It started as a trilateral maritime cooperation mechanism among India, Maldives, and Sri Lanka in 2011, and the membership of the group was enlarged in March 2022 to include Mauritius. The port city of Berdyansk is on the coast of Sea of Azov. Is the correct answer? As Russia and Ukraine war is going on, many places are in the news. Berdyansk is one of those places. Post 2011. NATO continued to strengthen its relationship with Ukraine by providing it training and equipment. The presence of warships from Britain and the US began to increase in the Black Sea. In 2019, the United Kingdom had entered into a cooperation agreement with Ukraine to develop two naval ports. One was Ochakiv on the Black Sea, and another was the Berdyansk on the Sea of Azov. Consider the following statements regarding the Bharat NCAP. It would assign vehicles between one and ten stars on various parameters, and a zero rating in an NCAP can prevent a car from being sold. Both are incorrect. T is the correct answer. Recently, Union Minister for Road Transport and Highways approved a draft general statutory rules notification, seeking comments on a proposal to introduce the Bharat New Car Assessment Program. It would accord vehicles a star rating based on their performance in crash tests. They are intended to increase the export worthiness of vehicles and competition on safety parameters among manufacturers. It would assign uh, vehicles between one and five stars on various parameters, and a zero rating in an NCAP cannot prevent a car from being sold in any geography. The Directorate of Enforcement or the ED comes under which of the following departments of Ministry of Finance? Department of Revenue is the correct answer. Recently, the ED alleged that Vivo India remitted almost fifty percent of the sale proceeds overseas. Mainly to China to avoid payment of taxes in India, and the ED is a multidisciplinary organization mandated with investigation of economic crimes and violation of foreign exchange laws. The origin of ED goes back to first of May 1956 when an enforcement unit was formed in the Department of Economic Affairs. In the year 1957, this unit was renamed as Enforcement Directorate. In 1960, the administrative control of the Directorate was transferred from the Department of Economic Affairs to the Department of Revenue. Tarkashiza. The correct answer is stealth frigate. Recently, Indian Navy stealth frigate INS Tarkash visited Djibouti as a part of her long-range overseas deployment, followed by maritime partnership exercise with Sudan Navy. INS Tarkash is a state-of-the-art platform and has a weapon sensor fit that enables her to address threats in all dimensions. The ship is a part of the Indian Navy's Western Fleet. It functions under the Western Naval Command. Moving on, at which of the following places? India's first ever artificial intelligence and defense exhibition and symposium is to be held. The correct answer is New Delhi. So, Raksha Mantri will inaugurate the first ever artificial intelligence and defense symposium and exhibition organized by Ministry of Defense in New Delhi on July 11, 2022, and the event will feature an exhibition to showcase the cutting-edge AI-enabled solution developed by the services and innovators and launch of AI products for the market. What is the capital of Ghana? Accra is the correct answer. 
Recently, hundreds of people took to the streets of Ghana's capital, Accra, to protest over its deteriorating economy. An 18-year high inflation has hit its economy, capping off a year of accelerating prices. Growth slowed to 3.3% in the first quarter and the value of CDI currency has declined 23.5% against the dollar since the year began. Which of the following best to describe the Pariman? The correct answer is GeoPortal for NCR. Recently, Pariman, the GeoPortal for NCR was made public. For the purpose of effective utilization of remote sensing and GIS technology, a web geoportal has been developed through National Informatics Center initially for use by NCR participating states. This geoportal will help to improve decentralized planning and management in NCR region. Geoportal for NCR known as Pariman was launched on 31st August 2021 in the 40th meeting of the board by Union Minister for Housing and Urban Affairs. NCR is presently spread over 55,083 square kilometers and has four participating states as its constituent area. 53rd International Film Festival of India is scheduled to be held in. We have this practice question. Answer it correctly. Thank you so much for watching.